Hi, welcome to the Q&A vlog. This is the third installment and at this point, we're going to talk about Victor Hugo's Les Miserables. So, uh, through the course of this vlog, I'm going to use the, the shortcut which is Les Mis. Okay? So, uh, for this one, we're going to also have three questions from the students and one extra question, one bonus, one bonus question. Okay, so the first question is from Shaina May Jaime. So she is asking, what is the significance of the title Les Miserables? Okay, the Les Miserables uh, in English is the miserable ones. So that's the literal meaning of the title. So why? Because it focuses on the struggles, not only of the protagonist, Jean Valjean, but also of the supporting characters. So all the characters there are actually struggling, being is miserable in one way or another. Okay? So during this time period, France was a garbage bin. According to one um, movie review that I've read, he described, he, he, he described France at this time in history as a garbage bin of poverty and immorality. Okay, so that's why there are prostitutes even si Fantine became a prostitute and then uh, the Thenardiers kay mga mga kuan mga maru nga mga tao mga kawatan ano bitaw mga sigig sigig panikas sa ilahang mga customers sa ilahang in ano bitaw so daghan og mga sana mga bad elements in their society at that time so people were suffering and and it's it's after the French Revolution, yeah, but time of transition, bitaw mana na ipo an na ikan ng na time na na points sa limbs rob na nagalsa ang mga students ning ano ning ano sila ning revolt sila ni go against sila sa sa government, okay? So because they were fighting against the the kan the structure of the society at that time. So the second question. From Mary Angie Zaragoza, what is the significance of the presence of children in Lame Zerub? I specifically chose this question kay Laisha, dili siya usual na ipangutan na ba? And so I I, I like it. Ana. So, yeah, nga nung naay may mga bata sa Lame niya, unsa man nila hang gamit. So, the, there are three that I can give. The first one is solidarity. Okay, so, di ba, uh, it's already stated. In the, uh, it's already explained in the first question uh, the reason why it's called Les Miserables is because the the state of France at this time was not really good it was it was a garbage bin of poverty and immorality it's not the the France that we know now today and uh, so uh, what's the significance of the presence of children number one solidarity so these three children uh, you know they 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 somehow grouped together to survive on the streets, to, to look for food, to, to have shelter. So, uh, the leader of these kids in the story is Gavroche. So, for sure, in, in reality at that time, there are several, there were many Gavroches in, in, in Paris at that time. So, he exemplifies the children of the streets, the orphaned, the abandoned, and even Gavroche himself was abandoned so he was a child he was a child of the Thenardiers but he was kind of dispatched from the house because according to his parents he was just another mouth to feed lakaluin no di ano siya gipapahawa siya you know mas stress ka magunaho na ba so he was he is living in the i mean on the streets now kay mo na gipalayas man siya sa ilaha so man he became the leader and so the second significance is Kaya survival, of course, kay, di ba, mangita sila food, and of course, they need to be together, they need to be a group, so that they will be safe from others, kay, there were a lot of kanang dangerous people on the streets, and then, uh, they lived in the elephant statue, so in the story, they missed, they took an elephant statue, and then children lived there, so it was their shelter, and then they helped each other look for food, clothing, mga inana. And then the third one is danger. Yes, so there are already uh, there were several poor children on the streets, and they're considered dangerous because they were pickpockets, mga inana. But they're not really evil. They were there to survive because they were orphaned or abandoned. Okay. Now, 
Now the third question is from Andrea May Lau. So her question is, what is the lesson that we can take away from watching Limis? So I hope that you'll be able to read kanang the I, I, I hope that you've read the summary that I've shared and then if you have time please watch the movie. So ang movie na siya ikan ng changes ha, na siya ikan ng kanang mga modifications from from the story, the original story. Okay, it's very long. The original story is very long. And then the movie musical, ano na sa nasa 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 yung mga iyahang mga uh, artistic license nga adapt ang ano ang mga producers, mga writers. Ano. So nagi change changes, nasa differences. But then in general, what is the lesson that we can take away from watching Les Mis? Um, I can summarize this in one line. So this is the last line that Valjean sings before he dies. To love another person is to see the face of God. I'm not so sure if it's, it's really written on the actual novel. Although I've seen na quoted si Victor Hugo ani. Okay, to love another person is to see the face of God. So since he's quoted, he must have written it. And then the the composers of the musical wrote the same line. He, they included it. So, uh, what does it mean? That God's love redeems everything from God's love for his people to a father's love for his adopted daughter. In an, so, uh, love is the answer. Ana bitaw kay man, like for example, si Jean Valjean, nganong nangawat man siya loaf of bread. Kay love man niya yung mga pagumangkun na dili na mapakaon siya yung sister. So, Yang nangawat na lang siya. Is that it, it? It 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 isn't because he was, he is evil, but it's because love niya mga bata. It was his koana, his his option to to survive ana betaw. And then so many other characters as well show that. So see, for example, si Eponine, nganong nag nganong di shield maniya si Marius. Nganong siya man ang ang Ano, diba? Why did she make herself a human shield so that Marius would live? It's because love me si Marius. Diba? Na si Marius would. Nanong Maragnashe brand new reason for living, brand new reason for fighting. It's because lo na in love siya ni Cosette. Diba? Although, nai point sa story ng Maragdina siya ganan mo fight kay na in love na siya, but then at the end. Ni, ni, ni appeal lagi upon siya. It's because he probably realized nga, well, he has to fight. Aron, he has to fight para, para, nasilay, nasilay chance to, to, to live together, di ba? Kay, yun na, sa umanin ni kung na, na dayon to larga si, si Valjean o si Cosette. Niya, kuan, si, si Valjean sa, of course, nganong nganong iya man tong di ko an, nganong iya man gi adapt si ko, si kinsani si Cosette. It's because na she na she big love for society bitaw. Mabitaw to nga na improve ang ilang town because of his innovations. That's actually born out of love and and if and 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 na love gay niya si si Cosette like his own child. And another example of love also is kato si Kwan. The 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 first turning point sa, sa story sa novel si Si Bishop, ang Bishop, if dili pa niya love si Koan, si Jean Valjean, iyan na tatunggi hatag sa mga polis, ba? But because nakakita man siya nga, pwede pa mag-change ang tao, so he saved him, ba? So that's, that's another form, that's another expression of love. So that's why, that's why from that point on, uh, Jean Valjean promised to change himself and that he would devote himself to doing good. So to love another person is to see the face of God. <clears throat> and uh, alright, so we are now on to the last question. Alright, so who is your favorite character in Lamis and why? So this is from Razel Ann Mi Flores. So who's my favorite character? It's Madame Tinardier. So no, evil no siya character miss. It's because I played her character and in, in, in the local production of Les Miserables, I played Madame Tinardier. And 
uh, by being in that character, in that role, I realized that she's larger than life and she provides, you know, she provides comic relief in the musical version. And also, kind of, it's a very challenging character to play because she's the foil to Fantine. So, she's the kind of opposite of Fantine. Ba? And Fantine, although Madame Thenardier is my favorite character, Fantine is, is a character that I love because she represents a mother's unconditional love for her child. The biggest, biggest example of, of love Fantine. Imagine, imagine she was a young girl, niya na pamabdusan siya. So, she choice, iya yung i-ano, iya yung i-survive ang yung anak. So, mga tong, ano, yung gibilin on her way to, to, kanang, Valjean's town, yung gibilin yung anak sa mga tinardi, aron makatrabaho siya. Unfortunately, gitaktakra po siya, di ba, kay, kanang, people found out nga, she had an illegit, illegitimate child. And, ano man, Dili man ganahan ang society, ang French society ana before, so she was discriminated. And Mona, she she did all those things. She worked at the factory. She became a prostitute. She she sold her jewelry. She had her teeth removed. She cut her hair. She sold her hair just for the sake of Cosette. Kaya love niya jud iyang anak. And she even died, di ba? She even died because of of sadness and also shock kay nagaway man to si Valjean og si Javert but but aside from dying of shock sa duha ka characters nga nagaway we can also say nga Pantin died of a broken heart kay she felt nga she failed her she failed her her daughter and that bitaw kay nawagtanga na siya work and then her her life spiral downward and that after that and she has done so many can uh, so, not, so many things nga she must not she must not be proud of nga may balaan sa yang anak sa yung anak. but it's good nga you know uh nakitaan pa siya ni Valjean so that's why si Valjean kay Shabby ang former boss mo to na konsensya siya di ba niya yahangi yahangi save you si Cosette to make up for to make up for you know for his mistakes sa kang ano sa kang pantin sumona siya meanwhile si Madame Tinardie as i have said she's larger than life niya kanang lingaw siya good niya kan uh, was a very challenging and scary at the same time to play okay very maldita you know so mona siya i will not sing the lines na lang kay mahulog ko <laughs> also i have no practice but yeah uh, Madame Tinardi is a very you know, interesting per, uh, interesting character to play. Mona Shang Limis niya uh Limis as a musical is actually kanang one of the most popular and it's also the, the most produced play around the world, especially in, in school productions. And uh, in fact last year I was able to see a uh, uh, production in, in San Carlos, so it was locally produced as well. And it was quite excellent. Makahilak jud ka, and and also kanang Limis is considered as the ano Limis is is considered as the masterpiece of Victor Hugo. And another trivia before we go, uh, Victor Hugo is believed to have written the shortest letter because of Limis. So he wrote a letter to his editor, and he wrote nothing but a big question mark. And that's it. He didn't he didn't say anything. He just wrote a question mark. We kapo na tingin si Hugo. And so, uh, in a way, kanisang limis actually um, reflects Hugo's life. So it took him a long time, around twenty years, it took him a long time to write limis because it actually reflects uh, a lot of elements about his life, especially sa party Marius. Ang, ang family conflict sa party Marius so that's it that's Les Miserables so I hope that you learned something and if you still have some questions you can post them in the, in the comment section below so thank you so much and enjoy your weekend